What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to take the fender flare off a Jeep JL Wrangler the easy way. What's going on guys? So if for any reason you need to take the inner fender liner out, I have found a little trick. There's no need to take the inner fender liner out. We're going to remove the whole fender flare uh, so we don't have to drill out these little plastic rivets here because these things are outrageous. They can run anywhere from uh, three to eight dollars a piece depending on where you get them at so here we go all right so there are four hidden bolts and one plastic push pin there's one right there and the second one you can see there right there's the second one there are 10 millimeter bolts the third one is up front here closer to the turn signal it's straight up it's kind of hidden and uh, you know the turn signal is right there and the fourth one is up in this hole also so there's four bolts once you get those four bolts out then there is a plastic push pin this is not a rivet it's just a push pin right there and everything will come right off easily all right so i'm going to go ahead and take these four bolts out and the push pin and you'll see how easy this really is just a little tug. now you have to give it a little tug here Feels like you're gonna break it, but you're not. All right. Now, you now next, you want to disconnect the turn signal connector. Voila! Now that's a lot easier than taking the inner fender liner out. By doing this, you can gain access to pretty much everything on this thing. This, I will be doing this a lot. Got access to the cat, uh, auxiliary battery right here. If you ever need to do any work in this area, engine work, electric power steering pump, uh, pretty much everything is very easy to access now. You might think these things break. They do not break. They might break, okay, but um, they might break over time. But as of right now, they're not breaking. I'm just taking a small trim stick, sneaking it in between there, and twisting it, and it's not breaking. Um, so hopefully it does not break for you. I did find out that you cannot get these clips separate. You have to get the clips and they come on uh the actual fender flare itself so that is not a good thing but you can see here the they're they're not breaking but that could just be because it's a brand new vehicle and they haven't got brittle yet so well guys i hope this helps you out somehow in the future this is definitely a lot easier than taking the inner fender liner out and drilling out every one of those little rivets so let's make sure you check out the website i got some new shirts and i'm uh, getting new shirts in every day my first one here is i'm smarter than my jeep i love it it's great uh, there's different colors tons of different colors so tons of different sizes for ladies and guys so make sure you check out the website for those shirts have a great day we'll see you next time